Starting June 24th, the New York Mercantile Exchange, the world's largest market for energy futures and options, will introduce NYMEX Access, an after-hours electronic trading system. Firms all over the United States will staff overnight desks and install trading terminals, preventing business from being lost to overseas markets when the exchange is closed. Companies anywhere will be able to place orders during their business hours. Consumers and traders alike will always know where the market is going, protecting domestic energy prices from the effects of uncontrollable world events. Once terminals are installed overseas, that trade can happen from any place in the world, with the system providing equal access to all traders, regardless of their location. Whether you're in Tokyo or in New York, two people hitting the return key at the exact same time, or any other function key that sends data out to the system, the difference is no more than 800 milliseconds. But will this automated overnight system that provides virtually constant access to the world's largest energy market ever replace the traditional trading floor? I don't think it'll ever replace the day-to-day -day business of open outcry, but it will allow a person to not worry about having a position quite as well hedged at the end of the day. The exchange is the primary risk management forum for energy price risk, primarily in crude oil, natural gas, and the products derived from crude oil, heating oil, and gasoline. Over the past several years, this business has expanded tremendously. The growth of the industry and the growth of the exchange and the part it plays in the industry has been dramatic over the past 10 to 12 years. We expanded, we grew, we're continuing to grow, and again, when you continue to grow, we become a worldwide market. A lot of this growth was fueled by the growth internationally of the exchange. It has to be totally reliable. Ease of operations. Response time, fair play markets, we needed global expansion. To become a worldwide market, how do you bring the world closer together? You bring it through electronic data communications. One of the exchange's major responses to this was to try to see if we could make ourselves accessible to these markets virtually 24 hours a day. Well, we could have kept the pit open, but people can't stand up 24 hours a day yelling and screaming. They'd have no voice, they'd have no legs, they'd get tired, stamina takes into account. What else could you do? So we've taken the screaming and yelling of a pit and turned it into an electronic trading medium called NYMEX Access. Technologies that have, been, that have been implemented over the last two or three years alone, frame relay service, the coming of ATM uh, service in our network, it's, it's high bandwidth, right. high speed applications, down to the uh, desktop, so it's, it's really dramatic. Somebody said, well, you know, what's it looked like over the last five years? And I said, well, what about the last five days? Right. I mean, it's, it's just really gotten uh, crazy. There's been a merger. Data processing, communications, the content even, and uh, electronics all coming together. What's happening in the industry is that, A, to begin with, we are in the information business. B, information is time sensitive. C, the faster that information can be sent, to the broker sales force, the more quickly the investor can be made aware of what is happening in the world and to make investment decisions based upon those happenings. As we give people more reach and power uh, to gain uh, access to information, the amount of information could drown them unless we also give them some help with dealing with the information itself. The day that you're delighted when someone tells you you know what, starting tomorrow you're going to get twice as much information and you're going to say, great, then you'll be in the information age. Today, if somebody says, more information, my God, look at this, look at this mess I'm in already. That is the old era. We're getting a lot of leverage out of having uh, their resources on site with us. Integrating it has made it a very seamless, very time efficient environment. We look out at the future, I see uh, ways of getting people access to other people, access to machines, and access to data all at the same time. That's a tremendous integration task. But I think we're up to it, and it certainly is going to be the challenge of this decade, and probably most of the coming century as well.